As we wrap up 2023, the overall economy looks like it's heading for a soft landing in 2024, but could remain turbulent throughout the year. The multifamily market saw growth slow in 2023, and despite positive demand during the year, it was weaker than the pre-pandemic norm. Layering this on with the elevated rate of new supply, rent growth began to slow at the end of 2023. With even higher rates of new supply expected in 2024, along with the labor market showing signs of slowing, multifamily performance will come in below the longer run average. Rent growth is expected to end the year at 2.5% and vacancy rates up to 5.7%. While new supply will remain elevated for the next few years, the impacts to fundamentals are not universally felt across the nation. The Sunbelt and Mountain West are the regions with the highest percent of new units to current inventory, ranging from 3 to 4 percent, while other regions, such as the Northeast and Midwest, are showing new inventory ratios much lower, between 1.1 and 1.5 percent. As a result of the higher supply, rent growth slowdowns are most apparent in the Sunbelt and the Mountain West. We expect many of these metro-level trends to continue through 2024 with top-performing markets among those with low supply or strong demand drivers. Meanwhile, our lower-performing markets are dominated by high levels of new supply or weaker demand. The run-up in Treasury rates over the past year has caused cap rates to increase, although not to the same magnitude, which has caused the cap rate spread to compress to near-historically tight levels. This has caused property prices to decline, slowing transaction volume in the market. As a result, origination volume for 2023 is expected to be down 40% from 2022 to about $285 billion. As interest rates are expected to stabilize at higher levels, we expect some transaction volume growth to return in 2024, up about 30% to $370 to $380 billion. The multifamily market is expected to perform below the longer run average in 2024 with only modest rent growth and increasing vacancy rates. But once the short-term supply imbalance is worked through, the multifamily market is expected to regain momentum due to an expensive for-sale housing market and strong demographic tailwinds boosting demand.